our Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Hi, well, praise the Lord. Uh, who helped me catch this great big uh, nine pound striped bass yesterday in answer to prayer. And lots of times uh, people comment that, you know, hey, God's got more uh, bigger things to worry about than answering my prayers to catch fish. Uh, but that's not really true because in the Bible, uh, Jesus reveals that God's interested in even the very hairs of her head. And he says in the Sermon on the Mount to pray, uh, give us today our daily bread or our daily fish as the case may be. In scripture, Jesus also said, which of you, if his son asked for a fish, would give him a snake instead? So there's plenty of verses in the Bible that demonstrate God's interest in fish and in fishing and in feeding people who ask him. All right, well, cleaning these larger striped bass is a little bit different than cleaning the small ones. Uh, the main difference is, is because the ribs are so thick, uh, we prefer to uh, fillet them in a way that doesn't require us to cut through the rib bones because cutting through rib bones is difficult and it will uh, sharpen the knife quickly. We also use a stouter knife uh, for the first cut and this is a buck uh, number six a special knife uh, to, and we use this to separate the fillet from the backbone and then we use a standard uh, Dexter Russell uh, six inch or seven inch fillet knife to separate the fillet uh, from the skin. And you'll, you'll notice I've also rigged up this board. This is just a thin sheet of plywood. Uh, but attached it to the rails on the deck with a couple of C-clamps. Provides a surface that's uh, the right height for cleaning fish without having to bend over. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Okay, so the, for the first cut, we're going to scrape off a few scales here to get the, the knife started. And then we're going to separate the fillet from the rib cage. Uh, down here to the vent. And the reason to do that is so you don't have to cut through the ribs. So you just set, uh, scrape off a few scales, get the knife inserted, and then we're kind of feeling our way along. And we actually use the backbone as kind of a fulcrum to help us get some upward force on that knife as we work the knife along the rib cage to separate the fillet from the ribs. And uh, that's a pretty good start. And then just kind of clean up the cut a little bit, making sure we're down to the backbone uh, all the way through. All right. Then we just finish the cut up here by the head. And our next cut, we're gonna separate the fillet from the backbone, working the knife down along the back. So you're trying to hold the knife as close to the backbone as you can. I get as much meat as possible with this method and just uh, work our way back. All right, now we don't cut it all the way off. Uh, that's because that little skin tag here at the back uh, just helps us hold everything steady uh, for the second cut. And now for the second cut, we're gonna use the Dexter Russell fillet knife to remove the fillet from the skin. So sometimes it helps if you kind of uh, position the fillet a little closer to your the edge of your table here. And what that allows us to do is keep the fillet knife close to the board without dealing with the edge of the table hitting the handle. All right, so there we go. Very nice. Uh, striped bass fillet, very large. Now my wife sometimes likes to come along uh, before I, uh, before she cooks it or before we put it in the freezer bag and she'll use the knife to uh, take away or to cut off uh, some of this more red meat that was uh, along the skin. The second side is sort of the mirror image of the first side. Now you'll notice that I actually lay the fish the other way uh, just because my cutting ergonomics are a little easier for me this way. So separate out a few scales here. And lots of fish 
you know, you need something to hold on to up here by the front. And a lot of species of fish, like a striped bass, you can actually use the eyes as pretty good grips and get a good grip on the fish. So as you're working with the knife in the other direction, uh, you've got a pretty good hold on the fish. Let's see, that one might have been not quite far back enough. That one's starting to work in front of the ribs. So you got to work behind the ribs. So I'll get my start here behind the ribs. All right. Clean the cut up a little bit. Cut down behind the head. And then the next cut, we're going to separate the fillet uh, from the back. Position the camera a little bit so you can see. Better what I'm doing. Once again, don't cut it all the way off of the tail. Get it close. Now I flip it around because I like to go left to right as I use the fillet knife. And now this cut with the fillet knife, the next Russell fillet knife, separates the fillet from the skin. All right, there we go. So we have two very nice striped bath fillets. And wow, this is quality meat. Uh, this is going to taste very good. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering my prayer and giving me this nice, big, strapped bass. Amen.